click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. In today's session, we are going to look at a very different concept and very important concept as far as the industrial design is concerned. Till today, most of the problems which we have designed, they have either undergone the static stresses or static loads or we have considered starting the endurance limits and all. But in today's session, we are going to consider that concept which actually dominates the design. The concept is fatigue failure. So students, in this particular module, since the beginning of this module till now, what we have said is or what we have understood is due to the presence of the varying loads, varying load can be cyclic load, they can be reverse load, they can be repeated loads also. Due to all these kind of loads, the actual design that we have learned in static loading cases do vary and the design varies just because of the presence of these varying loads. And due to that, we need to consider certain concepts which are related with this kind of loading. For example, if there are loads which comes and go back in equal interval of time, that hampers the actual design and that may lead to the failure of the product before the actual predicted time. So, what is the fatigue failure? Students, under fluctuating loads, as you can see, material fails at lower stress estimated. Scientists started thinking about this concept, why it's happening? Because the predicted value was certain higher value, whereas in actual practice, the materials or the components started failing much before that. And for that, they started investigating in this particular concept. We can say that this failure is unpredictable failure, which occurs in running condition which may occur in the ideal condition or which may occur much before the time expected. So the normal theory of elasticity could not explain this. The normal theory of elasticity has certain limitations. We can say that fatigue failure may consider cyclic loads, they may consider fluctuating loads and they may consider the reverse loads. Let's all call them cyclic loads. Now it is very easy to understand that phenomenon where resistance by the material to the fluctuating load decreases. In this phenomena, we need to consider the fatigue failure aspect or the origin of fatigue failure. Let me repeat it quickly. The phenomenon under which the resistance given by the material or the component to the actual loads or the repeated loads or the cyclic loads start decreasing in that case, the origin of fatigue failure takes place. The second aspect is time. The time delayed things in case of the failure is the second consideration in this. We can say that the fracture under the cyclic loads is not delayed due to the time. It is incorporated at the early stages and that is what the concern is. Let's take an example. Let's start with the tension test in static failure load. Now, we already have gone through this static test or tensile test in the subject of strength of materials where we consider a member and it is applied with the axial loads. The member will be tried to be elongated by this kind of loads. In that case, you can see the gradual increase in the length and the gradual decrease in the cross section at the neck formation region. But in that case of neck formation, this particular thing will be visible. We can see that the variation is happening in the area, in the region, in the cross section and then we can predict that this particular material may fail. There comes another thing, shear, which is again gradual. We know that shear forces do act opposite to each other equal in magnitude at the very small cross section that we have enlarged here. And in that case, if it is gradual, we can predict that shear may happen because in that case, the region may fail upside down like this due to the upward, due to the upward force ahead and due to the downward force down. But that is visible, that can be predicted. Now, let us consider this particular phenomenon where there is a bar or the metal strip is given. We are applying reverse cyclic loads on it. That means 
the load at the same time will try to bend it downward and in the next cycle they will try to bend it in upward manner in that case it was observed that as compared to these two examples the failure occurred at this section much much before the time and there the important concept came under the light was reverse cyclic loading due to this loading the failure occurred much much before the time and that's why that failure had been given the name fatigue failure let's look in look at this particular concept static in static the elongation of fiber takes place we can estimate it because it takes place gradually and we have already studied the theories which have proven this concept of static gradual loading but when it comes to fatigue failure like we have discussed propagation of the crack may take place and it is very unpredictable for example when the cyclic loads act the most weak region where a flaw is present or where some crack is present or even on the surface if the crack is present in that case that crack may propagate in the direction of the acting forces this propagation may or may not be visible to the eyes many a times the crack is present inside the material it propagates right from inside to the outside body which is very impossible to see sometimes cracks are very small they propagate in the small proportion only it is only when the actual failure takes place we can see the enlarged version of that fat or the flaw or the crack and that's why these all are unpredictable so all these things come under the fatigue failure now we need to consider certain regions which are likely to undergo the fatigue failure regions of the material regions of the components first of all discontinuities like oil holes keyways screw threads etc are scumble to the failure fatigue failure because since there is discontinuity there is a kind of flaw there is a kind of the irregularity and this irregularity may give birth to the fatigue failure so all those essential irregularities like oil holes keyways may undergo the fatigue failure and we need to consider them we need to make them strengthen the next kind of irregularities are due to the machining due to the machining there are like scratches some stamping necessary stamping that may take place though they are necessary they may lead to the small irregularities or discontinuities in the given material maybe on surface maybe inside the body and if the loads are cyclic in this case it is very difficult to predict the failure that may occur because of them the last but not the least are like internal cracks due to the defects of the material or the machining processes we have already studied the subjects of production processes where we have studied that during the even during the fine processing or the fine production processing there are certain flaws that are left out inside the given material because of the certain conditions if there are the flaws and if that kind of particular material is undergoing the cyclic loading there are chances that those flaws will be accelerated throughout the body and they will lead to the fatigue failure so at the end while clearly defining the role of fatigue failure let us compare it with the static failure in that case it will be very very clear to us how fatigue failure is different and dangerous than the static failure let's look at the very first point it says sufficient plastic deformation takes place in the static failure we can see that by naked eyes also but in case of fatigue failure in majority of the cases you can't see the predetermined or predefined or pre predicted things so it is completely unpredictable the failure the next point it says that in static failure plastic deformation can be seen gradual change in length that can be observed but in case of fatigue failure the crack propagation takes place surfaces till surfaces and it is seen only after the failure so if it is starting from the middle of the body anywhere from the middle of the body you can't see it inside because it's a solid portion you can observe it only when it reaches the surface and it makes the actual failure of the component the next point we can say is failure is gradual and can be stopped with a warning in case of static failure or static stresses static elongation you will have the warning early sign in that case you can stop applying the external forces which may lead to the safety of the given equipment but in case of the fatigue failure failure is very sudden 
as soon as the crack propagates the failure takes place and we can't stop it it is completely unstoppable the last but not the least in this case in case of static failure it is very easy to design the static problems or static components but in case of fatigue failure design is very tedious because there are certain factors n number of factors n number of tables that we need to refer to because there are number number of cycles there are number of amplitude forces or amplitude stresses then stress concentration factors then mean forces mean stresses corrosion creep residual stresses etc etc so there are n number of factors that may affect the fatigue failure and that's why its design is very tedious as compared to the static failure or static loads now in this chapter we have highlighted the meaning of fatigue failure the simplest meaning let me revise is the sudden and unpredictable failure of the material because of n number of factors like cracks and flaws inside the body that we can't predict that we can't stop and it will create the huge damage because certain failure occurs only when the bodies are in motion as compared to the static failure we can't predict it we can't stop it and that's why we have to go for a very tedious lengthy and very perfect fine design whenever we have to design it for the fatigue failure in the next chapter in the next video we are going to look at the concept of endurance limit which goes in line with the fatigue failure thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you